Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to look at Hubble's Law. So let's get started. It says here that by examining the redshift of galaxies at varying distances from the Earth, Edwin Hubble found that the further away a galaxy was, the faster it was moving away from us. This suggests that the universe is expanding, so this is some more evidence that the universe is expanding. He plotted the recessional velocity of galaxies against their distance, as shown below. So here's a graph of recessional velocity against distance. Just before I go into more detail about this picture though, I'm going to show you a quick animation on how he collected the data. So just ignore all this on the left hand side for now, we're looking at this black circle with the galaxies marked on it, and we've got a table of initial distance, final distance, and change in distance. So imagine some initial point in time, you've got four galaxies, and we're going to note the distances of G1, G2, and G3 from this galaxy G0 or G0. So imagine we've got a distance of say 10 megaparsecs from G0 to G1, and then we've got a distance of 20 megaparsecs from G0 to G2, and lastly we've got a distance of 30 megaparsecs from G0 to G3. But over time, space is going to expand, and it will look something like this. So if we now look at the distances between the galaxies, we've got 40 megaparsecs between G0 and G1, we've now got 80 megaparsecs between G0 and G2, and we've got 120 megaparsecs between G0 and G3, and those have now been inserted into the table. And now we could work out that change in distance, which is going to be proportional to the velocity. And that's what it says here. So the change in distances is a measure of their velocity, since they all occurred in the same time interval. So we've got a change of 30, 60, and 90 megaparsecs, and if we now look at that on a graph, it would look like this, with a linear relationship between recessional velocity TV and initial distances of the galaxies D, which was this column here. So you'll notice the straight line linear relationship between V and D there. So I'm going to take you back to the notes now, and we're going to now look at this graph in more detail. So we've got the recessional velocity, in this case it's kilometers per second, against distance in megaparsecs. So Hubble plotted all of the data that he had, and he got all of these points here, which are all the yellow dots. And you can fit a line of best fit through the origin, which passes through the majority of these points. So you notice that some of the points, which is the data for some galaxies, lies either side of the line, but the line of best fit passes through the origin there. And this means that Hubble concluded from the graph that the recessional velocity of distant galaxies is directly proportional to their distance from us. So here's the distance of the galaxies away from us, and here's the velocity of the galaxies as they move away from us. Remember, that's what recessional velocity means. And that gives us Hubble's law. So another way of saying that is that the further galaxies are away from us, the larger their velocity will be. It then says that the gradient of the line on the graph V divided by D, so that is your change in Y over your change in X, so your V from there divided by your D there, gives an important result known as Hubble's constant, which is H0 or H0. From this, we can form an equation relating the three variables. So because the gradient of the line there is V over D, but is also H0, then we can write H0 equals V over D, or in other words, V equals H0 times D. So this is your equation for Hubble's law, where V is the recessional velocity of the galaxy measured in meters per second, H0 is Hubble's constant measured in per seconds, or 1 over seconds. So notice that Hubble's constant is a rate 1 over seconds with respect to time, and D is the distance to the galaxy measured in meters. It then says that the value of Hubble's constant H0 is 2.3 times 10 to the minus 18 per second, and you get that value on the data sheet in the exam, so you don't have to remember it. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video one of these, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Whoa.